The ERP Cloud Toolbox Finance module makes crediting customer on account balances easy. A little word on this, Oracle Web Service limitations don't allow you to directly credit AR invoices, but we can credit the customer balance by creating on account credit memos, and this sheet contains all the columns we need to do that. Header distributions and attachments, lines, and line distributions. We'll start by entering in some credit memo details in the sheet. We can use formulas, as you'd expect, and the rest of those header details. Put in the customer. And for a simple credit memo, one line will do. And we can give a line description, negative quantity, and an amount. Data entry forms also allow us to pick validated values from lists. We can paste data in from external sources. And we can also source our data from Oracle. There are two download sources available. We could use existing credit memos as a basis for new ones by downloading on account credit memos. We'll bring down the details of open invoices. So we can put our invoice range in the download form there. But if we know the invoice numbers, we can just put them into the rows and download via sheet. So there we see the details of those open invoices, with line details, including price. Now Oracle Web Services don't let you directly credit the invoices, but we can use the invoice details to credit the customer on account balance. We need to massage the downloaded invoice details a bit to do that. We won't be creating invoices, and those existing transaction numbers aren't useful, so we clear those out. The original dates aren't relevant to the credit, so we take them out too. Now we use the defaults row to populate that data and save us some typing. We'll be creating new memos, and we'll use today's date for the transaction and accounting dates. It's credit memos that we're after, and we'll use the same reason for each of them. Now at the line level we'll do it row by row, because we don't need to credit everything that was invoiced. We'll just use the details from the first line for this top invoice. And for the rest, we'll credit everything. Excel copy down makes some of this super easy. We need negative quantities, and the downloaded price will trigger the calculation of the credit total. And the same line reason for each is fine in this example. When we're ready, we can upload everything to Oracle. The defaults drop in and the load validates and executes the creation of the on-account credit memo. It's that simple. And we can double check those were created okay. We can collect up some of those transaction numbers and download them. The source is credit memos this time. There they are. And all the lines are there as you'd expect. Or you could go into Oracle and query the customer transactions and view the credit memo there. Up to you. You can't do it in ADFDI or FBDI. And with the ability to download both invoice and credit memo data, there really is no other tool which lets you do so much in a spreadsheet. And there's a whole host of other great features in the finance module. And you can find out more by going to our website or reaching out to a Morphorapp sales rep.